everybody, what's going on? I am GamerChick, and I would like to welcome you guys back to more of Stardew Valley, where I continuously throw my fishing rod in random places. I keep trying to cast in front of the door, inside the house, just, just everywhere. That's all I do in this game, and it's kind of annoying. So, um, in the previous episode, we planted some parsnips, and we applied some fertilizer to the parsnips before we planted them down, uh, because we need five gold quality parsnips for the community center bundle. So that is what we're trying to get accomplished before spring. Um, and we also need to locate a leak before the season is over as well. Now, uh, we managed to smelt down uh, five copper bars. And uh, what we're going to be doing with those copper bars in this episode is we are going to go ahead and submit for a watering can upgrade. Because it is going to rain uh, tomorrow in the game. So we're going to utilize the rainy day to give Clint the blacksmith just enough time to upgrade our watering can. That way we don't miss a day of watering our crops. So we're going to do that right away. Go ahead and finish watering these few crops. Very good. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quickly. So let's go ahead and deposit this in there. We want five of those. And I think we might, I think we're going to go into the mine today. See if we can find anything interesting in the mines. That sounds like a good idea because we're going to need more minerals and stuff anyways. Um, so definitely get that taken care of. So let's go ahead and go to the blacksmith's house. Because we should have enough money for the upgrade. I hope. <laughs> it can't be more than a thousand, that I know for sure. And I think tomorrow is Vincent's birthday as well, so we're gonna have to buy him some form of gift or find him something that he may like. I don't know offhand what the child likes. I think I know he likes cake. Pink cake, chocolate cake, but we're not equipped with a a uh, house upgrade, so I can't really... I can't really give the kid cake, so... <laughs> he's, he's not getting cake for his birthday, that's for sure. Hello, Clint. We need to upgrade our tools. Ah, oh, it costs 2,000? Ah, oh, we need like, we need like 10, 11 gold. Hang on, I got this. I totally got this. Let's go to the beach and see if there's anything we can forage. And then whatever we find, we'll just sell to um, Willy. Yes, maybe we'll find like, a shell or I think he accepts those types of things if I had my fishing pole with me we would just catch a fish and sell it but and there's nothing here to forage that's my luck oh my goodness okay well my bad I thought it was 2,000 or no I thought it was a thousand to upgrade to copper and it's 2,000 we don't have enough money, so we can't do it. So, we're just gonna have to wait. Oh well. I really don't want to, though. Like, that is frustrating. We're not gonna wait. Nope. We're not waiting. I'm gonna get something to sell to somebody. Like, we just need a little bit of gold. Like, not even a lot. <clears throat> not even a lot. So let's grab our fishing pole. And... He's not even minding his store? Oh my goodness. Can't even sell stuff to Willy. Okay, so I managed to catch one fish and everything else was trash because apparently I have very, very bad luck. Willy's not at his, he's not at his uh, shop so I can't sell him anything. So, you know, that sucks. Let's see if we can, oh, we found more trash, that's great. That's great. We found more trash. That's awesome. You know what? We're just gonna trash. Trash. So, I don't know. I don't think Pierre will buy fish, per se. Will you, will you buy my fish? Yeah, no. Pierre will not buy any fish. So, I can't upgrade anything today because I don't have the proper funds to do so. So we're gonna have to do it another time. That is very disappointing, but I guess I'll have to live with it. I didn't prepare. I just needed a little bit more gold. Here's a daffodil. 
We just needed like a little more gold. We didn't even need a whole lot, like 11 gold. Just needed 11 gold. I didn't sell enough junk the past few days. It's my own fault. Gosh darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Actually, I wonder. I wonder, does Robin let you sell wood to her? Cause like, if I cut down this tree and then go inside her shop and sell her wood, I might be able to, I don't know if she'll let us though. I don't know if that's one of her, she's not even manning her store. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine, fine. It's cool. It wasn't meant to be. Sometimes things just aren't meant to be. This is one of those, this is one of those scenarios. It just was not meant to be and neither was uh me going to the mines meant to be either which is fine because it's going to rain tomorrow here you want some seaweed okay he doesn't like seaweed i'm sorry i don't like the seaweed either in fact we're actually just gonna eat the seaweed nom 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 seaweed okay i figured he'd be happy you know it's edible you're homeless you need food he didn't want my seaweed what a jerk Okay, so since we can't upgrade our tool, and there's at this point, there's not really much point in me going to the mine. We're just going to do some foraging. Here, let's water the cat. Water the cat. There you go. We're just going to do some foraging. Uh, maybe we will come across a leak or something. I hope. That would be nice. Let's just put that stuff back in there. Let's sell this stuff. So, uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see what we find on our little foraging adventure. Okay, so we weren't exactly lucky. Um, I managed to find two dandelions and five more spring onions. Um, other than that, we didn't find anything of use. Um, I stopped and chopped down a couple trees while I was out and about simply because you can't ever have enough uh, raw materials. We're definitely going to need as many raw materials as we can possibly get. Um, especially if we do want that chicken coop. Because we do want the chicken coop. Chicken coop costs materials. Lots and lots of materials. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to clean up the farm just a little bit. It looks like we're almost out of energy. So I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot more. What was that? I don't even know what that was. Okay, so we'll get rid of these rocks. Okay, we're starting to feel exhausted, so that should probably be the end of that. So let's go sell some of the forage that we found and put everything else away for a later time. And uh, we are going to go ahead and progress and into the next day. Um, I am going to try to do uh, one to two days per episode. Uh, you guys won't get to experience every single little thing we do in each day. I'll be cutting out bits and pieces, mostly the boring stuff. Um, that way we kind of get more coverage in the game. So let's go ahead and hop into bed for the night. Very good. Level 2 foraging, plus 1 axe proficiency, and we can now craft a survival burger. That's good. Don't know what a survival burger is made out of, but we'll go with it. Okay, so there's the gold that we needed. Thank you, game. Thank you very much for that gold. All right, and it is a rainy day. Hello, kitty. Let's see, it is going to be sunny tomorrow, so we probably should not upgrade the watering can because that would be a bad, bad thing to do. So what we can do is we can go upgrade our ax. We have mail. Dear Farmer Gamer Chick, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyways, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Okay, well, thank you, Robin. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and have our axe upgraded. Might as well, right? Let's see, I don't think anything... Oh, these potatoes are ready for harvest. 
Very good. We got potatoes. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, that is the spring foraging bundle. Winter foraging. Are there, is this the only... This is the only one we have for now. Okay, so we're actually going to keep one of these potatoes because I believe we need a potato um, for one of the bundles, if I'm not mistaken. I think... I think so. I don't remember off offhand, actually. Uh, but the other ones will go ahead and we will sell. So goodbye potatoes, thank you very much. Everything else is still being grown, so we're not going to worry about that too much. And it is Vincent's birthday today. We're going to take this flower and little Vincent is going to get a flower for his birthday because I cannot offer him chocolate cake or pink cake. Or any kind of cake of that nature. So we're just going to give him a beautiful little daffodil. Because it's pretty. And children like flowers, right? I think. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. As a child, I liked flowers. But that was personally me. Okay, so it looks like there's a quest here. I'm looking for a largemouth bass uh, to dry for next winter. Sebastian. 300 gold on delivery and Sebastian will be pleased. We'll go ahead and accept that, although I doubt I'll be able to find a largemouth bass. I mean, I can look. That's all I can do is look. So let's see if we can find little Vincent. I believe he lives here and it's locked because they hate me. They're not open yet. It's raining outside. Man, something tells me I'm not going to be able to give little Vincent his birthday present. It's typically my luck. When I try to do something, I always fail epically, and I can't seem to do it. So, let's go to the blacksmith. He's not open yet. Is nobody open yet? Like, did I just leave my farm too early? Okay, hello, Clint. Yes, we need a tool upgrade. I would like you to upgrade my axe, please. Thank you. Now we're really broke, but that's okay. No one cares. It's fine by me. Now let's go see if we can find little Vincent. If I can't find him, he's just not getting a gift because I don't really care about my friendship with little Vincent right away. I don't see him as a extremely important character, so... Tough Skittles, dude go in here. Vincent! Are you home, little buddy? Here we go. Here you go. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, good. I'm glad I gave you a birthday gift. Okay, so we successfully gave little Vincent a birthday gift, and it is time to go spend some time in the mines. So that is where we are going to head right away so we can get some more materials, and we can make fancy, fancy stuff things and stuffs and things and stuffs. Okay, so we're at the mine. I believe level 10 is where we last left off and that's where we found these fancy little boots that we're wearing, which is pretty fine and dandy. Ooh, copper. Yes! We need copper. Copper is good. Get out of here. No. Look here, slime. Haha. -ha. Okay, so the goal here is to find as much valuable stuff as we possibly can. That's the goal. Okay, so let's search this to see if there's any... Is there nothing here? Ah, there we go, coal. Awesome. No. No! Bad. Bad slime. Oh, you poisoned me, you jerk! Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this acorn so we can pick up this. This is an earth crystal. And it looks like it has to go to Gunther at this time because he hasn't discovered one of those yet. Oh, hey, that's a cherry bomb. I want that. We can use this to make an explosion. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're about to be attacked. No. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. No, no, go down the floor. Go down the floor. We just got gang banged. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Get 
out of here. Let's go ahead and place this cherry bomb down over here. Boom. Nice. Oh my goodness. I think it's time to get out of the mines. I think it's time to leave. There we go. Okay. Getting kind of low on health and energy, so let's go ahead and return to our humble abode. It looks like we have another item to take to Gunther, which is very, very exciting because Gunther, Gunther's the collector. And if you donate enough stuff to him in the museum, he does give you rewards, so that's very good to have too. So we'll definitely take care of that um, in the next day. Right now we need to go ahead and head home. It's getting kind of late. Dude, this game is kind of dark at night. I didn't realize how the the lighting isn't all that great in the night time. Need to get a few lamp posts here and there. Okay, so unfortunately that is all the time we have for this episode. Um, if you guys would like to support me and if you guys would like to see more of Stardew Valley, be sure to show your support by leaving a like and a comment down in the section below. Uh, in the next episode, uh, we are hopefully going to find a leak because we really, really, really need one. Uh, we're also going to be doing a little more farming and... Um, Again, we really need that leak in order to kind of complete that little spring foraging bundle. I really want to go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm getting kind of anxious. We're already on day 10 of springtime, and I don't really want it to take forever to get a leak. So that's really my main goal right now is to complete that spring bundle. And it looks like we leveled up farming to level 2, which we get plus 1 watering can proficiency, 1 plus hoe proficiency, proficient proficiency oh my goodness stone fences unlocked a mayonnaise maker and a sprinkler that's awesome that is awesome and we also leveled up combat plus five hp and we can craft a sturdy ring we're also going to go ahead and uh, pick up our axe from the blacksmith as well so we made 860 gold from those potatoes that is not bad not bad at all very good good job all right well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon with another episode of Stardew Valley. Bye!